Hey everyone, this is Jane with Barlow Herbal. <laughs> I uh, started the video and I wasn't quite ready, but I know I'm saying you want to get my take on what? I want to get your take on colonics while we talk about heavy metals. Oh, yeah. So okay. So this is gonna be an interesting video. <laughs> okay. So today in this video, we want to talk about how to clear your body of heavy metals. The toxicity that it causes and why you would want to clear heavy metals from your body there are some really amazing ways and things that you can do that are simple lifestyle things uh, some simple supplements just some simple things you can do to keep your body clear of heavy metals so let's just let me ask you this okay this is dr nielsen in case you're tuning in oh hey and i've you not met some of you so don't know good. who he is so dr nielsen um, is the resident doctor in the house and I love to have conversations with him because first of all he's very smart he's very goofy and uh, he's got some great knowledge so let's talk about heavy metals why we want to let's talk about first why we want to take heavy metals out of our body what do they do in our body so when I think of heavy metals I think of them and um, I think of them like putting so imagine you have a, a piece of machinery and it's just working, everything's working amazing. And then you go and take like a giant metal wrench and you just like stick it in the machinery, that giant piece of metal and everything like goes crazy. Okay. That's what heavy metals do. Now we, we get heavy metals in our water. This is the most common place of heavy metals. And the other thing is you guys, I, I've seen this a lot with there are heavy metals occurring naturally in vegetables as well. You know, I had a patient, she she was coming back with lead toxicity quite high. And I said, I mean, she eats so clean. And I realized, oh, she's getting it from her vegetables. So heavy metals, there we, we constantly get them. But do you detoxify? And, and I think that's where we run into a problem is if you don't detoxify, that's where they become a problem. They get built up in the system. And then they completely, again, short circuit your cells. It's like putting, again, a, like a monkey wrench into a machine and everything stops, freezes, and it, that cell cannot function. Is there right? a favorite place that metals like to go or absorb in your body? Because I've always heard that, just... they, that they really like your brain. Well, they do. They, they, they generally will deposit in fatty areas and the brain can be like a fatty area, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, that's why... Yeah, they can. Now, here's the thing is, I mean, that's that's one of the classic areas, yes. Um, but they can be deposited anywhere. I, I, I especially see them like in fatty areas. So, yes, the brain is a classic area and it targets. I guess one of the reasons why when people say that the deposits in the brain is that's one of the areas that it affects the most in a negative way. Right. Yeah. So... so detoxing on a regular basis from heavy metals even if you eat a super clean organic diet because mm -hmm. there are metals in the foods that we eat the foods, water we drink yeah i mean mm -hmm. it's just it's just part of being a human the and living yeah so i wrote a little list of some of my favorite ways to detox from heavy metals let's hear them. so the number one thing is to eat a clean alkaline rich organic diet mm -hmm. okay that's going to be an important thing uh number two and this one i love and i'm very lucky I've had one for a long time is to use an infrared sauna. Ooh. Right? Yes. Infrared saunas are wow. Like any type of detoxification, infrared saunas are phenomenal. Um and here's if you're, why. Here's why? Tell us why. Why is it why is the infrared sauna different than a regular sauna? Oh, the ability to penetrate so deeply into the cell. So you guys, you're not just heating a surface area. You're actually increasing circulation subdermal. So you're heating up internally, which allows for detoxification. So it gets so. heavy metals out of your fat cells where heavy metals accumulate. So if you have access to an infrared sauna, um, phenomenal. phenomenal or find access. You know, I actually just full, you know, full, here's the easy way to do it. I actually got my infrared sauna at Costco. Oh yeah, that's that's and a, that's it's a great in my place. garage, and it's a two-person one because I thought maybe sometimes my husband might want to join me. Nice. He doesn't very often. Friends, family, it's a party. It's yeah, a party. It's not. It's a very tiny place, so it's it's. But it was very inexpensive. I mean, as far as you know, I think it cost me a couple of thousand, uh -huh. 
and it's I've had it for seven years. It sits in, my, in the corner of my garage, and it's transportable. So if I move, I can take it with me. Um, but it's it's amazing, and I feel amazing when I use it. In fact, it's, I haven't used it for a little while, so it's because it's been a hundred degrees. She's doing degrees. a commercial for herself. Yeah, I'm, so I'm like, okay, so an infrared sauna is a really good way to help your body detox from heavy metals. So let's talk about like some other stuff. So with infrared sauna, okay. one of the best things that you can do with that is increase peripheral circulation. So if you're gonna real, if you really want to push things. And this is one of the protocols they use in detoxifications of when people overdose. And you can do this at home, you guys, as well. And if you don't have an infrared sauna, you can actually do this with a shower. Um, most of you won't get hot enough, but it's that raising of the internal temperature. And that's why the infrared sauna is so much easier. But you can do this with a hot tub. You can do this with a hot, hot shower. I'm talking like you have to be in there for like 20 minutes sometimes longer. Be careful. Do not pass out. Dr. Nielsen didn't say to pass out, okay? But you've got to increase that internal temperature. And the, one of the best ways you can do this is actually taking um, nicotinic acid or like niacin, so a flushing niacin, about 20 to 30 minutes before you get into the sauna or into your hot tub or get in that hot shower. And what that will do is really push peripheral circulation, cause that to flush, open everything up, and you'll get a deeper detoxification by doing that. Something for you to even try before you get in the sauna. Is like, um, one of the best ones I like is uh, niacin is nicotinic acid. It's it's excellent. I use a product called uh, Niavask 750. It's a high dose of um, niacin that actually does not as hard flushing. If you can do it without the flushing, great. All I want that, I just want all those peripheral pores to open up, internally to open up so that when you heat, everything is pushing out. Then what I do on the, the back end is I'll use a mop, some type of a mop to kind of take all that junk and mop it out. I'll use um, something like a uh, activated charcoal or I'll use a product, um, one of our products called Zeal Flow. It's a, it's a zeolite um, and that will actually mop. It's when, when you guys out in nature, when you go into nature and you're looking at finding minerals, zeolite will be right next to a bentonite clay. Bentonite is another good absorber. Make sure it doesn't have lead in it, though. you got to have a good source of clay that doesn't have lead. So I'll usually go with a zeolite because it doesn't have the lead, and I'll take that right after you get in the sauna or the hot, and that will actually help mop the junk out. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's good That's stuff. awesome. Okay, so what's your thoughts on cilantro and corella? Cilantro, corella, I have a story. Should I tell you? I've yes. never told you this story. I yeah. had this, I had this um, a patient, and she brought her friend in, and... She was very anti, like, Dr. Nielsen, natural, you know, I should be taking something. So she kept having these really crazy headaches, almost to the point of uh, seizures. So she's not seizures, but she was getting dizzy and almost to the point of fainting or possibly, that's what I'm saying, going into a seizure. But she was nursing. So she came to me and I said, um, this is what I'd recommend. She's like, well, I can't take anything because I'm nursing. And I was kind of like, oh, all right that's fine, but you could take this because it's, it's a food product. She said, no way. Like, you're crazy. Don't tell me to take anything natural. So I was racking my brain. Not really, but I said, you know what? This is what I'm going to, I'm going to give you a diagnosis. Oh, the reason why she was getting this dizziness is actually she was heavy metal toxic. Mm. Yeah. I had tested her and she had heavy, heavy metal toxicity. So guess how she was eliminating it. You guys, she didn't even realize this, but through nursing, she was actually detoxing through nursing. Oh, one point. If you feel better when you're pregnant, not you guys, but you gals, if you feel better when you're pregnant, that is a very bad sign. So sometimes people will be like, I feel so much better when I'm pregnant. Guess what you're doing? You're detoxifying into your baby. So anyways, I knew dizzy, you were say that. Yeah, dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. And I said, you need a detox from heavy metal. She's like, well, I won't. And I said, okay, this was a tough patient, right? She was... She stood out in my mind. I said, this is what I'm going to have you do. I want you to start eating cilantro. You're just going to eat like, you know, like a handful of cilantro a day. She said, all right, I'll do that. You know, like, whatever. You're not, it's not going to work. So I asked her friend that brought her in two weeks later, three weeks later, whatever it was. And I said, whatever happened to that lady? Because, of course, she never returned. She's like, oh, 
she's all better. She actually did take the cilantro. She's completely better. She completely, no more dizziness, nothing. It's kind of like a miracle, right? I was like, yeah, well, of course. All you had to do is give the body. So cilantro, I like. Yeah, that's, I like, that's my story. I love cilantro. I love, cilantro's phenomenal. And people were like, well, it will scatter the heavy metals out in the system. You guys, it's natural. Cilantro's fine. Coriander seeds. You know what coriander is? Cilantro. It's just cilantro seeds. Right, right, right. Um, I was like, well, sometimes people don't know. They're like, what's no, you're, coriander? You're right. So coriander, cilantro, both of those are good. And then um, just the green, leafy, like parsley, those type of things are really good. But especially cilantro is excellent for detoxifying heavy metals. So. Right. So let me ask you this. In your story about the woman who is nursing, mm -hmm. and she, she was detoxifying through her breast milk, but it wasn't that affecting her baby in a negative way? It can, yes. And it just depends on if the baby can detoxify or not. See, we're all exposed to heavy metals, but can you detoxify or do you need a little extra help? Yeah, well, and you know, I do love cilantro. I don't eat it every day, but I do I do take broken cell wall corella oh, for corella. that reason. Um, because I think I think putting it into my diet daily, I actually started taking it when I was having my nail my silver removed. Oh yeah, like uh -huh. seventeen years ago, I was removing all my silver and yes. So I don't do as much now as I did then because I was doing I was having them removed kind of one quadrant at a time and yes. I was being exposed. I was doing it with the uh, like a holistic dentist, but that to me I was getting lots of mercury exposure and I needed to minimize that and help my body get rid of it. So and then I've just made it a habit to take Corella, Corella every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the, let's just wrap this up and talk about colonics. Like what's your, what, what's your thoughts on colonics? Cause I know colonics I'll yeah. t before I finish with colonics, I'll tell you a couple of things that in the research has shown not to push or scatter. So I usually avoid oh, okay. DMSA. I usually avoid EDTA. And if you're doing chelation, so be it. But in the research, a couple of things that have been shown to be very effective is N-acetylcysteine, N-A-C, it is a precursor to glutathione. Glutathione is the main detoxifier of your body, you guys. So I love using S-acetylglutathione. It's, it, it's been shown on blood blood labs to actually increase your serum glutathione. It's excellent. Anybody can take it. Can you it's spell a, it? A glutathione? No, S-acetyl. S-A-C-E-T-Y-L-glutathione. You can't get okay. it unless you get it okay. from like a doctor's okay. office. They'll need okay. to call me. Um S-acetylglutathione, N-acetylcysteine you can get anywhere, it's fine, N-A-C, it's oftentimes abbreviated. And then I do like ALA, which is alpha lipoic acid. Yeah. The research has shown those to not push heavy metals. One thing, I'll tell you a quick story as well. I started taking a, uh, a metal clear to clear some of my heavy metals. And after that, you guys, I hardly ever had headaches, but actually I wasn't even very smart. This is when I was a younger doctor, I was just taking some product. It pushed, and I started getting headaches after that. And so I've had to work on that since then. But, um, yeah, I really like the N-acetylcysteine, glutathione, alpha folic acid. I do like the Zeoflow. And then um, some of the other things I like is, yeah, infrared sauna. And, yeah, some of the things we talked about. Okay, so colonics. What's your, what's your thoughts on colonics? For heavy metals or just yeah. in general? No, for heavy metals and then in general. Cause, so, because I I know I know it's a uh, some people are like okay whatever some people are like completely insistent that it's it's a, something that's a game changer, and then some people are like no do not do that. Well, it depends on how well you defecate, you know. And we've honestly. never talked about this before, so yeah. this isn't yeah. Deep. You're like oh we're gonna talk about some colonic. No, it's no big deal. Um, do I support them? Yes, if you need them. If you know if you have buildup and you can't defecate if you can't go number two very well you guys and you have buildup then they're phenomenal because they get a bunch of the old junk out of your right. system right now if you're if you have regular bowel movements they don't really help that much right. can right. they help yes they can but you know a coffee enema colonics will go further up so you guys the difference of an enema is generally only get this part of your um, colon like sigmoid colon whereas a mm -hmm. colonic can actually push all the way through up into the large intestine. So it depends on who it's for. Yeah. Are they beneficial? Yes, for the right person. Right. Um, I have I referred that. patients to get them? Absolutely. Yeah. But other patients, they don't need them and yeah. they would just have it's no purpose. Yeah. I mean, so if you take care of yourself and you have lots of good fiber and you have beneficial bacteria and you ha you have regular bowel movements yeah, and like you're you, every day. 
if you have a distended stomach, like this is, you know, like I see people who are like, think about a little old man. This sounds so terrible. Or a no, little no, woman. Okay. They have skinny legs and arms and they have a big distended stomach. That is a sign of compacted fecal matter with, and, and there can be heavy metal toxicity in there Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. you guys, garbage attracts garbage. Right. Yeah. If there's buildup, then in that case, if there was impacted, Fecal material, absolutely. Yeah. This colonic would be phenomenal for that. That's like, yeah. get it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So that's something to kind of look into if you if you find yourself in that situation. Um, but yeah, I, th there's some great information that that we just shared about heavy metals. So oh, thank that you. Helps. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so let us know if you have any questions. If you enjoy this video as usual, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for stopping by. You're welcome. Talk to you guys soon.